Motions will be like taking a field. It will be, it'll be a surreal feeling, you know, just to get back out there after, you know, 13, 12 months. I can't remember the exact time frame, but it'll be great to get back out there, you know, in, in front of a full stadium. I haven't done that yet since I've been in Baltimore. And I know that I'll be feeling excited and hopefully the fans will be feeling excited as well. So you fully expect to play Sunday? Well, it's, if, it, if it's totally, you know, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. That's the answer I got to give you. Okay. But I, I don't know. I truly don't know. You know, I hope I am. Maybe I am. Maybe not. We'll see. What do you think? I think you're going to play. You think I'm going to play? <laughs> we all think you're going to play. So. Oh, yeah? <laughs> all right. All right. Hey, you, me you mentioned in a previous interview you know, some of the specifics of how severe the injury was. Just how challenging was this process physically, but also the mental side of, you know, a, a year-long rehab like this to get back to the point where you're getting back on the field sooner than later, whether it's Sunday or not. Yeah, so it, it was this is a severe injury, you know, but mentally it was it's it's been tough, you know. It, it's it's one of the toughest injuries I've had. You know, I, I haven't been injured that much, you know, but I had an ankle in high school my, my junior, no, actually senior year, first player my senior year. Came, came back from that easily. You know, this knee though, Whole new, whole new ball game, you know. And I'm a person that has a great work ethic. So me, I'm thinking I can get back. You know, the doctor told me one thing, and I'm telling him, nah, I'm gonna get back at this time. But you know, it's 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 my career, you know. So we have to be safe about that, you know. And and I'm starting to understand that as a, as a younger guy. And I appreciate what the Ravens organization is doing for me. You know, like they're they're letting me take my time and things like that, and I appreciate them for that. Did you, did you have to sort of convince yourself that you were okay those first, I mean, we saw you come out in early August and you're sort of gradually ramping up. I mean, did, was there a process in your own mind of sort of showing yourself that it was all right? Nah, nah, nah. I, I, I'm the type of person, I'm always optimistic, you know? So I, I feel like I can go out there and play anytime, you know? That's how optimistic I am. But, you know, getting out there for the first time felt great, you know? I'm, I'm always confident too, so I feel like I could have got out the first day, I feel like I, would, I could have been out there a week earlier or two weeks earlier, you know. The guys have to stop me, pull me back. And like I said, that's why I apply the Ravens organization because they know the type of person I am. I want to go, go, go. But, you know, with this knee injury, you got to take it kind of slow sometimes. You got to learn a little patience. So, Is the next hurdle for you, do you feel like taking a hit? Do you feel like that's the last thing you have to prove mentally? Um, nah, the, for the, the thing I want to prove mentally is when I run for 100 yards against somebody. JK, you're going into your third year now, and this is the you you you, you want to be able to show that you can be the guy. You haven't had that chance yet since you've been drafted. How excited are you to be able to show that you can carry the load? Oh yeah, I'm excited for that. You know, um, a lot of doubters in my mind. You know, a lot of people see the Michael Jordan thing where he like takes everything personal. That's me. You know, I, not to compare myself to Michael Jordan, but I take every little thing I see like everything. Like the the grass can move wrong. And I can think it's talking about me, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't wait to do that, you know, because I get to showcase my, my talents that God has given me. And um, I get to prove my coaches and the, the GM and the owner that they drafted the right person to be Williams, JK, I'm sure you're excited for, uh, to, you know, for you to come back. How excited are you with this redesigned offensive line? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited, you know, the guys, we we have good chemistry, you know, and we're working. We're we're continue to get better each week, and that's that's our goal, you know. And um, you know, guys like Morgan Moses, a, a veteran guy like that, it, he's hungry still. Like you're like nine or ten, so it's it's great to see that, you know. And I think this offensive line will be amazing throughout the year. When you see him back, you know, say like someone like Saquon who's been through a lot and then has some, does that inspire you at all? Or have you and have you talked to anybody who's been something through something like that? Oh yeah. So I talked to Saquon. Saquon, uh, you know, hit my line whenever um, I was going through it earlier, you know, and um, it's great to see him out there, you know, doing that, you know, and um, I always knew he could, you know, bounce back because he's, he's been doubted by a lot of people. People are talking about he's going to get traded and things like that. And, like, guys like us, like, his work ethic is, is amazing. So he's not going to be stopped, and that's how I feel like I, I, can, I can do that too, you know. And so it's good to see him out there doing it, and I, I pray that he keeps doing it week in and week out because that's what I plan on doing too. What, what, how hard is it for you as a person to be patient? Me, as far as injury, ah, it's hard. It's hard, hard. Like I said, I've never been injured like this before, so 
it's super hard to be patient, you know, and um, my work ethic, work ethic is like the thing that makes me not patient because I always want to be out there. I always want to be working. I, when I'm not, I feel like I'm missing something, you know, and so being patient is part of this process, you know, and um, I'm doing, I'm getting better at it each day and learning, which is a part of this process and this, this long career that I hope I and pray that I have. Okay, you mentioned uh, at the radio side the other day, the, the different injuries, were all of those tears? Uh, yeah, yeah, they were, they were all tears and that's what make it different. You know, like I didn't know coming into this either. Like, so you got, you, you got your regular ACL, like just, just straight ACL tear. If I would have had that, I think I'd be back in like seven months because of my work ethic, like I say, and my, my God-given abilities and what he's blessed me with, you know, to heal super fast and things like that. But all the stuff I had is, 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 is difficult, more difficult, but nothing I can't overcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, oh, yeah. Thanks,